Hello, my friends. My name is Jeremy. I'm going to be reading from the Bible, the Word of God. I'm going to read 2 Samuel 13. This will be Abnon and Tamar. So turn it up, listen up, and focus. This is the Word of God. All right. Now, now, Absalom, David's son, had a beautiful sister whose name was Tamar. And after a time, Abnon, David's son, loved her. And Abnon was so tormented that he made himself ill because of his sister Tamar, for she was a virgin, and it seemed possible, and it seemed impossible to Abnon to do anything to her, anything to her. But Abnon had a friend whose name was Jonadab, the son of Shemaiah, David's brother, and Jonadab was a very crafty man. And he said to him, "O oh, son of the king, why are you so haggard?" Why are you so haggard morning after morning? Will you not tell me? Adnan said to him, I love Tamar, my brother, Absalom's sister. Jonadab said to him, Lie down on your bed and pretend to be ill. And when your father comes to see you, say to him, Let my sister Tamar come and give me bread to eat and prepare the food in my sight, that I may see it and eat it from her hand. So Abnon lay down and pretended to be ill, and when the king came to see him, Abnon said to the king, Please let my sister Tamar come and, and make a couple of cakes in my sight, that I may eat from her hand. 13.7 <laughs> Then David sent home to Tamar, saying, Go to your brother Abnon's house and prepare food for him. So Tamar went to her brother Abnon's house, where he was laying down, and she took dough and kneaded it and made cakes in her sight and baked the cakes. And she took the pan and emptied it before him, but he refused to eat. And Amnon said, Send out everyone from me. So everyone went out from him. Then Amnon said to Tamar, Bring the food into the chamber that I may eat from your hand. And Tamar took the cakes she had made and brought them into the chamber to Amnon, her brother. But when she brought them near him to eat, he took hold of her hand and said to her, Come, lie with me, my sister. She answered him, No, my brother, do not violate me, for such a thing is not done in Israel. Do not do this outrageous thing. As for me, where could I carry my shame? And as for you, you would be as one of the outrageous fools in Israel. Now, therefore, please speak to the king, for he will not withhold me from you. But he would not listen to her, and being stronger than she, he violated her and lay with her. Thirteen, fifteen. Then Abnon hated her with very great hatred, so that the hatred with which he hated her was greater than the love from which he had loved her. Hmm. And Abnon said to her, Get up, go. But she said to him, No, my brother, for this wrong is sending her. Sending me away is greater than the other than that you did to me. Hmm. No, my brother, for this wrong and sending me away is greater than the other that you did to me. But he would not listen to her. He called the young man who served him and said, Put this woman out of my presence and bolt the door after her. Now she was wearing a long robe with sleeves, for thus were the virgin daughters of the king dresses. So his servant put her out of the bolted, uh, put her out and bolted the door after her. And Tamar put ashes on her head and tore the long robe that she wore. And she said, and she laid her hand on her head and went away, crying aloud as she went. 13.20 And her brother Absalom said to her, Has Amnon your brother been with you? Now hold your peace, my sister. He is your brother. Do not take this to heart. So Tamar lived a desolate woman in her brother Absalom's house. When King David, uh -oh, when King David heard uh, all these things, he was very angry. But Absalom spoke to Amnon, neither good nor bad, for Absalom hated Amnon because he had violated his sister. All right, we're going to 2 Samuel 13, 23. Uh, let me get rid of that. All right. Sorry, we are uploading videos right now. First Samuel videos. All right. So Absalom murders Abnon. After two full years, Absalom had, sh had sheep shears at Baal-Hazor, which is near Ephraim. And Absalom invited all the king's sons. And Absalom came to the king and said, Behold, your servant has sheep shears. Please let the king and his servants go with your servant. But the king said to Absalom, No, my son, let us not at, not all go, lest we be burdensome to, to you. He pressed him, but he would not go, but gave him his blessing. Then Absalom said, If not, please let my brother Abnon go with us. 
And the king said to him, Why should he go with you? But Absalom pressed him until he let Abnon and all the king's sons go with him. Then Absalom commanded his servants, Mark when Abnon's heart is merry with wine, and when I say to you, Strike Abnon, then kill him. Do not fear, have I not commanded you? Be courageous and valiant. <laughs> be courageous and be valiant. All right. So the servants of Absalom did to Amnon as Absalom had commanded. Then all the king's sons arose and each mounted his mule and fled. This will be 1330. So while they were on the way, news came to David. Absalom was struck down all the king's sons and not one of them is left. Then the king arose and tore his garments and lay on the earth. And all of his servants who were standing by by tore their garments. But Jonabad, the son of Shema, David's brother said, Let not my lord suppose that they have killed all the young men, the king's sons, for Amnon alone is dead. For by the command of Absalom, this has been determined from the day he violated his sister Tamar. Now therefore I let not my lord the king so take it to heart as to suppose that all the king's sons are dead, for Amnon alone is dead. All right, going to 34. 2 Samuel 13, 34. Absalom flees to Geshur. Good idea. But Absalom fled, and the young young man who kept the watch lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, many people were coming from the road behind him by the side of the mountain. And Jonadab said to the king, Behold, the king's son have come. The king's sons have come. As your servant said, so it has come about. And as soon as he had finished speaking, behold, the king's sons came and lifted up their voice and wept. And the king also... And all the servants wept very bitterly. 37. But Absalom fled and went to Talmai, the son of Amahud, king of Geshur. And David mourned for his son day after day. So Absalom fled and went to Geshur and was there three years. And the spirit of the king longed to go out to Absalom because he was comforted about Abnon since he was dead. That was Second Samuel 13, the word of God. All right, guys, stay in the word of God. God loves you. May peace always be with you. Bye.